G'day everyone, thanks for tuning into Organic Power. Today's episode is about installing this surge protection board. I'll go through the whole install with you. I've just completed that one. That protects all of the arrays that feed into the power shed. And once I've finished that, I'm gonna move on to the AC side. There'll be another box up here with another AC surge protector and that will link to the servo. So it'll give me email notifications if it ever happens to trip. So stay tuned, we'll get into the install. The surge devices will be mounted in this load center. As they sit there, you're gonna mount them one pole apart. Just to keep them a little bit isolated from one another. The first task to prepare the load center just to cut out the pole fillers with a sharp knife, making room for the surge devices. I'll get a different style of pole filler and that'll go between each one. And this will meet Australian standards. I can add those pole fillers in between the surge devices there now. That's ready to be mounted on the wall. Both boxes have been prepared now. Got a 20 amp circuit breaker to add to the AC box. We'll go around to the wholesaler now, pick that up and a couple of other small things I need. Start mounting these on the wall and running the cables in. I'll mount the AC surge protection just here, adjacent to the AC distribution panel for the off-grid shed. And the cable will pass from one to the other. The DC panel will sit just here. We'll just go up a little bit. So the center of this box is the center of this box. Mount that on the wall there. I'll run six four millimeter squared DC solder cables from the array breakers through the panel and up into the new box. I just returned from the steel supplier. I picked up the electrode for the surge protection equipment. The stainless steel solid rod, sharpen a point there. This will be 1300 millimeters into the ground. And on the end, I'll be welding that tag on with some stainless steel welding electrodes. There'll be a 25 square mil earth running up to the DC surge protection box and a six millimeter square earth running up to the AC surge protection. I've set up those two bits of stainless in the vise. I'll grab the welder out now, put a good solid bead either side of that tag. Got the welder set to about 40 amps. Going to be using a 3.2 millimeter rod, stainless rod. 
Got the earth clamp to my little bracket there, which makes it easy. This connects to the vise. Put the work in the vise. Then just put a couple of tacks on there, hold things in place. You shift it out of the vise a little bit and then complete the weld. Here's a quick little tack just to hold that in place. I'm going to shift that out of the jaws now so I don't destroy my vise when I'm welding the rest. Everything's squared up. I put another little tack on the back. That'll hold everything in place while I complete that weld either side. That'll do the job. Nice little bead either side there. Polish that up now and get that ready to drive into the ground. Every time I do a bit of fabrication, all the power comes from the off-grid shed. Handles the welder, not a problem. As well as the ventilation and the rest of the equipment I use. Just basic stuff, but the off-grid definitely got enough punch. I've cleaned up all the surfaces on that attachment point of the electrode. I'll clean it up again with the scratch pad and add the jointing compound when it comes time to connect it all together. This is going to be the position for my grounding stake for the surge devices. Once again I'll cut that hole with my homemade cutter. Just a bit of PVC pipe with some teeth cut into it. You can check that out on the lightning install videos how we've done that so I'll add some water to the hole and twist that around cutting down through the earth and then add bed tonight around the electrode once it's in place we've got a hole there now it's about a meter deep the electrode is going to be about 1300 the bottom of the earth stake will pierce into the natural clay for a couple of hundred mil and the rest of the hole will be filled with bentonite which is an earthing compound. I've driven the grounding electrode to the required depth. I put that little bit of timber there as a packer. Just keep that electrode in place while I add the bentonite granules. I'll go and grab the bag now and fill that hole up. Slowly add the granules so you don't get any air pockets. And we'll flood that hole with water, turning those granules to a paste. Makes that electrode nice and solid and a really good earth. I'll top that hole right up now with the granules. We can add some water, fill that hole, and it'll turn into like a slurry, sort of like a clay paste and uh, has a very low resistance. I'll gently just fill that now. Leave that running for a couple of minutes till the hole's full and let it settle. Got that full of water now. You see the air bubbles coming out as that clay is expanding. That'll tighten up and pack around the earth stake. The water's drained there. The bentonite's turned into a clay substance and swelled up. You see it's mounted up around the rod there a little bit. We can go ahead, drill some holes, run the cable to the stake bring that up into the SPD panel. I've started to run in those cables, earth cable and the array cables, make a penetration through the tin and put a gland, that'll take the earth cable over to the electrode, 
and then the solar cables come up into the top side of the array circuit breaker panels. All the cables are in place. I've added that little bit of conduit to come up into the panel. These cables will swing up into these load centers once I've finished terminating the other end. We always terminate the safe end first and then move over to the live side. The load center is mounted on the wall. I used a couple of stainless steel screws. Fix that on. I'll bring those cables in and start terminating. I've mounted a little earth bar in the back of the panel there for the 25 mil. And then a six mil cable will feed out of those holes up to the earths on the SPDs. There's the grounding cable finished. One wired at each of the surge devices. And then back out through the 25 mil. The cabling for the SPDs is complete. Got the positive and negatives. And the ground wires all connected in. Go and connect that earth electrode now with the 25 mil. Drill a 25 mil hole through the tin here. Put a gland in there. Run that cable through. Crimp a lug on. A little bit of heat shrink, and then we can bolt that to the stake. The gland's been fitted into the tin. Pull that cable through, put a bit of heat shrink on, strip the end off. Now I'll use the hydraulic crimper, fit that 25 square mil ring lug onto the end of the cable and shrink down that heat shrink. Press that lug on to the coppers right up into the end of the tunnel terminal there. Crimp that down. I've crimped that lug on, put the shrink on, heated that up, shrunk it down nicely there. Now we just bolt that onto the grounding electrode and we're good to go. If you'd like to see the entire process of crimping down the flexible cables, check out some of my other episodes one on the multi plus and also building the battery bank and circuit breaker changeovers so all the information's there how to finish off the joints both surfaces have been cleaned now and I've added a liberal amount of grease this is what's required as per the manufacturer's specification I've also added grease to the bolt and the washer. We'll put that together now and tighten it up. The joint's nice and firm now. You can see the grease is pressed out around everything. This creates a waterproof seal. You get zero corrosion. I've just completed a point to point test. Labeled each of the pairs. So I know that five and six want to come up in here and one to four in the other panel. So I've tied that onto the chain and pull that up into the panel and start terminating. The cables are being pulled in, split them up, start terminating. The 450 array panel is complete now. There's the load side of the breaker 
the cables on the left on each terminal feed to the SPDs. Just got to neaten up that cabling across there, pass that back up into the cableway. These are all live now. No problems whatsoever. So that 450 is now totally surge protected. I've got the second panel complete there. I'll turn them on now. Do a quick test, make sure everything's sweet. And that's that panel completely finished. All right, happy days. Everything's connected and switched on. We're safe now from any surges we may get. Take some of this plastic off now. sweet thanks for watching guys make sure you hit that like button we'll see you in the next episode cheers